Minister, um, right now, if you look at uh, our news at 6.55, um, the lead story is going to be protest, protest, protest. Uh, people are protesting, the teachers are protesting, they are protesting. Yeah, even uh, when I was in makeup, I heard uh, um, they were talking about, you know, students went into the uh, office of the, uh, the higher education, people were not there, so there's a protest going on there. So the whole idea of uh, what the opposition is trying to say is you all have mucked up the whole scenario and you all are not giving people uh, what they need. And because of that, uh, uh, you know, there are protests going on despite the fact that if you really look into it if everybody does their research you will see most of the people who are standing uh, with those uh, in, in those protests are, are pretty much you know members of the SJB or the UNP which is very very evident uh, what do you have to say now there is a, a protest with regard to the student uh, the teachers which they are not okay with their salary anomalies and all those things and they want I, I suppose there's a big long history to this I remember, if I remember right, 2004, uh, no, sorry, 94, I think Honorable Richard Patirana yes. uh, sort of increased the salaries, which is, uh, which was, I suppose, uh, it should have been done. Uh, then in 2006, if I remember right, somewhere there, the BC Perra Commission came, Saravi and Kada, they, are, they kept the education sector out because at that point of time, they had been given some salary increments which was even over the BC Perra, so they kept it back. From there onwards, this issue is, has been there right throughout. It has to be addressed and in fact it is in our manifesto. And uh, uh, again, I think Honorable Dallas Salha Perma took this up very seriously. There was also a cabinet paper uh, to bring this to a, a close, uh, what do you call, uh, yeah, a close uh, service, right? Uh, that the discussion started there. and then of course this COVID thing came up and uh, uh, this was delayed, whatever the discussions were delayed. Now during this period, two things happened. A, either the government as a government and head of state as uh, President uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa and our government principally agreed that if it is not uh, agreed, we wouldn't have come out in the, it wouldn't have come out in the manifesto. We categorically, very specifically laid that down there because we need to, uh, we wanted mm. to see some solution to this, a reasonable solution. Now the practice of some of this scrupulous, I would still say, mm. right, there was a bit of controversy of yeah. some other words it's that a little used, bit of a but I still but, say, yeah. some of the scrupulous, some of the people who are very selfish, few people are manipulating mm -hmm. all this, <laughs> while we here agreed to do this, in order to say that it is definite, it is very evident that we will settle that issue, time period is a, is a matter that we need to decide under the circumstances, so they want to take the credit. Ah, now we brought to all and we did this. Now, given scant uh, response, uh, respect for the health sector, yeah. health regulations, they're dragging innocent uh, teachers who need to be looked into and their grievances has to be addressed. One of That's the uh, criticism they said there is that, you know, apparently the president is not speaking, the prime minister is not see, will speaking to us. Uh, whenever we had a conversation, they are not uh, actually meeting us halfway. What do you say to that? You see, what happens is, I would still say that we embedded this whole issue. It is a part of our manifesto. And we had this, we brought in we discussed that in detail and brought into our manifesto in order to ensure and make sure that we will implement what is necessary.